Hi YouTube! I am so excited because I am finally sort of almost done with my setup for filming. So as you can see, I am kind of in a new location. I am still in my apartment, but I am upstairs now. And this is kind of like my fig pin storage area. Um, you can see all my fig pins are still in these boxes here. I haven't had a chance to unbox any of them yet or unpack any of them, even though I've moved into this apartment months ago. I'm still trying to figure things out, but I wanted to get a video out before I travel for the next week. As you can probably tell, I do not have a mic yet. So the audio is going to be a little bit echoey for the next like few videos or so But hopefully I'll get that sorted out soon So today's unboxing is super 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 exciting because it is the Sailor Moon box set Yes! I'm so excited to finally be able to open this I do have the comments or were they exclusives to a certain retailer? I don't remember but I do have the regular versions and then th this one is the gold plated version so we're gonna open it up and see what they look like and see all the back cards and the logo. So I'm really excited to get into this video. If you want to see more unboxings from me, make sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And with that, we'll just get unboxing. I always love Fig Pins box sets. They're just amazing quality. I love the way that they're displayed and they're, they're just so nice. <gasps> okay, okay. So I removed the sheet. Here is what it looks like in the box. <gasps> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so nice. And the logo is underneath it. So if you're not familiar with Big Pin, they come out occasionally with these box sets that are five Big Pins in one box. And they normally have common versions of whatever pins are in the box set and then the box set is normally like a different like special edition like these are gold plated i think most of the box sets are gold plated versions of common pins that already exist um so here is the sailor moon box i think there's some like i don't know this isn't normally the case but the back is upside down so yeah you kind of have to like um, yeah, this is like right side up and then when you flip it, this is the actual like, yeah. I don't know why it's upside down. I don't think it used to be that way. Maybe they changed something up. And every box set comes with a special logo that you can only get if you buy the box set. So the logo for this one is, hang on, let me look at it. <gasps> it's so cute. I kind of wish it was more pink. The, it's like a yellow glitter um, pin, but then like it has like a pinkish outline. And then if you can like really see, the eyes have little stars in them. It's really cute. I actually like the logo a lot. But if it was like a solid pastel pink, I think that's kind of what I was imagining the logo would look like. But this is still really pretty and I like that it's glitter, so I'm happy with it. Okay, now we're gonna open the box set and look at the actual pins that are inside. Usually the box set just comes like this and there's an outer sleeve, so you just take that off. This is what the actual box looks like. Um, I really like that they do this because the normally the sleeve is what like gives you the idea of like what the backer cards are gonna look like and what characters are in there. And then the actual box itself is like very minimalistic and like it has just like the logo, which I think just looks so clean. So if you see like the Mandalorian box set, it's the same deal. Like it has the sleeve with like all the um, characters on it. But then if you look at the actual box, it's just the logo, which makes it just look so nice. So I always love their box sets because they're just such an experience to open. Moment of truth. <laughs> Here we go. I'm so excited. Oh, and then there's like this inner part as well. <gasps> Oh my God, they're so pretty. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, okay, I just realized. So this is the sleeve that is um, that comes on top of the box. But if you turn it around, oh, look at that. 
Oh my goodness, it shows all their symbols. I love that so much. That's so cute. I love that detail. Do they do that for every box set? I don't even remember. Oh my God, I am so excited for these. You have no idea. I've been wanting Sailor Moon fig pins for so long and I can't believe that they're finally out because they've been teasing them for a while. And I know a lot of people in the community have been asking for Sailor Moon fig pins as well. So I'm just really, really excited that they're out. And the box set is literally everything I could have asked for. The gold plating just makes the colors look so much prettier. Okay, I'm just talking about it, I'm not even showing you, but here it is. Yeah, the ring light is kind of, oh, there we go. Um, so here's what it looks like. And I'll show you each pin one by one. I just realized my nails make it really hard to take them out of the box. Oh no! So if you are new to my channel, if you're new to collecting fig pins, basically fig pins are enamel pins that are collectible, but there's also a digital app and each pin has a serial number. And so when you put the serial number into the app, it tells you all like the points or scores that you can get for each pin. Here is Jupiter. I'm gonna do a um, B-roll for these as well so you can see a better close up. But this is Jupiter. I'm gonna put them in the app right now. Okay, so Jupiter is like not that great. I got 8, 11 out of 1,000. So that's not, actually that's kind of bad, but it's okay. I don't really mind. Like, I feel like with scores lately, I haven't been too picky about like what I get because I'm just happy to have the pin and I'm so excited about this box set. Their backer cards are so cute because it's all rainbow and they just look really, really nice. Okay, we got Mercury. So here she is. Oh, look how pretty that is. I'm obsessed. I think out of all the Sailor Scouts, um, Mars is probably my favorite from like the, uh, what are they called? Like the inner guardians. Uh, but from the outer, Sailor Saturn is my favorite and I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that Figpin has in their plan like the outer guardians because um, that would be amazing. Okay, so for Mercury, I got 782 out of a thousand. So again, not too bad, but hopefully out of like the five of these, I can get at least one pretty decent one. If you're new to collecting fig pins and you're confused about how the app works and what all the numbers mean and everything, um, I have a whole series of videos on my channel explaining what the app means and what all the numbers mean. So make sure to check those out if you want and if you're interested in using the app because it really does enhance the collecting experience and I think I really got into the community because of the app portion of collecting. Here is Sailor Moon next. This, oh my goodness, I, okay. I know like her pose is kind of questionable. Like I wish it was one of her more like signature poses, but I'm not even complaining. I just love that they're gold plated. I need the Emerald City Comic Con version, which I am sad that I missed out on, but yeah, this one looks really nice. I love the gold plating. It just makes the colors pop even more. So there she is. We're going to add her to the app. Okay, I got 754 out of a thousand for this one. So, so far we're not doing too great with the scores, but you know, it's fine. This one is my favorite out of all of the inner guardians. She is, I just really like her aesthetic a lot. And like, I love that she wears like pumps for shoes. They're just so classy looking and she's just really cool cause she's like fire and stuff. So she was always my favorite. So funny story, when I was a kid, my older sister, we used to watch Sailor Moon together all the time. And my older sister told me that if I press my fingers together like this, like really, really hard, then I can make fire come out of my fingertips just like Sailor Mars can. Whenever I was home alone, I would just practice by myself, like pressing my fingers together really hard, like hoping that I would make fire come out of my fingertips. So yeah, I was a pretty gullible kid because I wanted to be like her so bad. 
With Sailor Mars, I got 662. So she is the lowest sequence that I've gotten so far out of all of them, but it's still like not that low. And I don't really have the best luck with this kind of stuff anyways. Last but not least, we have Sailor Venus. She looks so cute. Oh my goodness. I, oh, I'm just so happy that we have Sailor Moon fixes now. Oh, wow. Okay, so for Sailor Venus, I got 160 out of 1,000. So that is by far my highest scoring one. Yay, I'm excited. I'm happy that I got at least one pretty low sequence. I know like there's gonna be people out there who got number one or last off the line. Um, so congrats to whoever got the sequence bonuses. I totally forgot about the logo. Here is a close-up of the logo. Uh, let me wait for it to focus. Oh yeah, okay. So this is the logo. I will add this to my app right now. I got 689 out of a thousand, so. Yeah, so it's still pretty consistent with the rest of the pins in my box set, but it's okay. I'm glad I have the pin and it's very, very cute and it's super glittery. I love how much glitter there is in there. I'm so happy that I was able to get this box set and I'm glad that I was able to unbox this on video and to be able to like claim them on my app through this video. So I'm really excited about that. This box set was actually um, introduced at LA Comic Con, I think. So they brought 50 to LA Comic Con and then they put the rest of the stock online the following Monday. And so I was, they had announced it ahead of time. So I was like really, really like trying to get it. And I'm really glad that I did get it because it's sold out now, unfortunately. Um, there were a thousand of them made, I believe. So yeah, that is the Sailor Moon box set. I think that's all I had for today's video. I hope that you guys like the new setup. You know, I promise this will look less sad in future videos. <laughs> Maybe I'll go live on Instagram to like have people help me decorate this area because I want to put up posters and everything too. So I'll make something fun out of that as well. But for now, um, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I'm so glad to be doing unboxings again and hopefully I'll do more in the future. Um, if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.